hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to configure the MySQL database which is nothing but a PHP my admin a remote server connection string in ASP.NET web.config file we will touch both the connection string on localhost as well as the my real domain host and servers.com uh, right now if you notice I am on localhost and below is a table which is nothing but a grid view values are so getting from a remote server of godaddy php my admin and this is php my admin the remote server of godaddy the table jack peter new york is the records i'm getting here in my grid view from the remote server and it's working perfectly on my local host now the same web page connect my sql server.aspx page on remote server so the path is copy the path this is my remote server host on servers.com enter now here is the output on remote server it's showing server error in slash application but in local host it's working perfectly now we'll configure mysql connection string of remote server in web.config file go to solution explorer web.config file in the web.config file the first thing this is a connection string php my admin of remote server usually we will write here the local host but we have to write the ip address of your remote server the port number integrated security false initial catalog is database name and the user id your my php database user id and password and as usual provider name is mysql.data.mysql client this is the first step and the second step is you need to add the assembly so where we have to add this assembly go to solution explorer in the bin folder you need to add the mysql.data.dll library so how to add right click the bin manage nugget packages and online type mysql here it is the drivers of mysql.data we need adwo.net driver for mysql to connect the remote server i already installed this package close and the third one is, is the, which is very important uh, we are getting the error if you notice the exception details is a system dot security permissions so we need the full trust security permissions trust level is equals to full and this is the last important point is trust level full the first one is the connection string is the and the second one is mysql.data.dll package library and it must be installed in the bin folder and the third important one is the trust level is equals to full build the solution build succeeded here now it's time to upload my web.config file on remote server i just logged into my ftp client it's a local site and it's remote site now we have to upload the file web.config file from localhost remote site web.config file add it refresh now on the real domain we will check the output after uploading the config file in my remote server i'm refreshing this page see here it is the output on my real domain host and servers.com and this is the local host that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos